Hey everybody and welcome back to the next episode of the Apothecary Diaries. Thank you all for watching along with these episodes with me and I always look forward to hearing your thoughts and what I might have missed in episodes, your theories and difference of opinions even, or where you agree with me, where you don't. But we're going again to this episode, which is the Garden Party. And we've seen the transformation of, of you know, everyone being dressed up. Looks wonderful. We've seen Jinshi give like a hairpin to Mao Mao. Why is that? We've seen this mystery of these these small sticks which when burned give off a colour, maybe it's a chord, which maybe it's a sinister tone, maybe someone is doing that for a negative reason, it could be completely nothing to do with that, it might just be like decoration purposes, who knows, right? But let's get into this episode, if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button, but let's find out what Mama is up to, where this is going to go, and how the garden party ends off. So picky with her food. It's not like it's going to kill her or anything. There's, there's the line. Are they on about the younger girl? Oh, that looks freezing cold. Could they not have put up windbreakers of some kind? My thoughts exactly. There's windbreakers up in there, look. Like a massive curtain around it. And the poor kid will be cold as well, you know what I mean? It could have been the younger girl's sleeves as well. But why would she do it? I want that mystery solved. I really do. Well, like a show of, like a war. One of them called it in the last episode. And she was. He's too sick to leave his house. Why would he leave? Oh, don't be, they're just horrible to each other, man. A proxy war begins. Ooh. Absolutely brutal. She's ready to knock one of them out. <laughs> After all the fun we shared. Ooh. What? <laughs> what? Okay, remind them who you are, Mamo. Hi. Yeah, back off. What are you gonna say now? Yeah, go on, off you go. Mau Mau's here. You know what I mean? No need to be rude and mean like that at all. She endured two months of overbullying. Yet she won't complain at all. Mama was lovely. Ah, this, this rivalry is wrong. Daughter and mother in law. The four women was the previous Empress Concubine. Right? Back then, she was 30 years old. That's wrong. What? Eh? No. No, I can't be reading that right. Tell me I'm reading that wrong. Her sleeves? Her sleeve? It's, it must be her. She's the one with the burns on her wrists. Obvious clashes with. Oh. Absolutely will need them. It must be her. She's the one who's got the burns on the wrist. Oh, she's still being nice to them. They're gonna. Why? These... They're almost like suspicious of her, right? They're scared of her. <laughs> I don't think she got permission, did she? <laughs> it's how they try to recruit talented workers hidden in this flower. Now what's the hidden mean? Are we going to find out or not? <laughs> He's making himself look taller. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you should have more. 
I mean, <laughs> it keeps sticking things in our hair. That's all for today. I mean, she owes her our life. Everybody's really, really, really. She won't like it. I don't know what she's going to do with all these hairpins because I don't know what the hidden meaning is. I don't know what they're for. <laughs> I want to know. Doesn't seem out of place among the military officers. Is this now? Where is Jinshi? So risky. What? What's that? What? 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 Life of the food test tester. Yeah. <laughs> but pufferfish. Yeah, I've heard that's really, really like poisonous. Honestly, Mao Mao. Back in the room, Mao Mao. Okay. It usually includes blue back, but it's jellyfish today. Never make the Empress favorite. Okay. Oh, she doesn't like it, does she? She's been forced to eat it. Maybe, I don't know. It's the food testers. No, she can't refuse to eat it. That's where it is, isn't it? She hates fish. What's that smile? Yeah. I'm nervous here. Is she tasting poison? Is that why her pupils are dilating and whatnot? Because she likes the taste of poison, we've seen that. <laughs> Wait, my... Poison. There it is. Precious console soup was poisoned. Formula tires two times. Oh, come on, come back to that. Where's she going? She's got to get rid of it though, hasn't she? She yeah, she enjoys the taste of poison. <laughs> what is he doing? Get off her! Taking you to the infirmary? <laughs> well, obviously, you should have just believed her. Honestly, people don't take her for a word. It's an... strong enough to turn your stomach inside out. He, like, legit needs to chill out. I get he's worried about a... A new hairpin? Right, there's a lot going on in this. <laughs> like, that noise just makes you want to... Oh. Do you want, you know when she said she wished she didn't see that smile? I knew it. I said. Oh, no, okay. It's not what I thought. She's just allergic to fish. Some people have things they cannot eat. Yeah, it was the fish. Oh. However, the vinegar dish use a different ingredient from the usual one. Sometimes it can cause difficulty breathing. Yeah, allergies to food. Will be the same as poisoning her. And she's she the one that smiled, she isn't she? Oh, and that's why they said you know eating it won't kill her in the in the early part of the episode. Of course, avoiding these foods entirely is best. However, if something goes wrong, and that's the grim truth of it all. She has a commanding presence about her, doesn't she? <laughs> Get off me. <laughs> in, in other words, just don't touch me anyway. Are you saying the service made an error? Well, we know they didn't really, but I think she's warned her off doing it. Yeah, 
Assuming none of the other dishes were poisoned. Yeah, we didn't really taste them all, did we? Man, I was going to get rise through the ranks. You know, I, I, well, I don't even know if that's possible. Is that possible? Somebody else with the red wasn't what I thought. So somebody else. Oh, you forget how quick these episodes go by. So who could it have been? <clears throat> That's what's run through my mind. Who could it be? I thought it was her in the end, but it wasn't. It was a reaction to the fish because she's allergic to that fish. And Mao Mao figuring out who had done that by mistake and teaches him a lesson of warning, you know? I, I still don't know what the hairpins mean or what they imply or what they're for or what the hidden meaning is behind it. Let me know down in the comments if you know, or maybe we find that out in the next episode. I don't know. I really don't know. The Apothecary Diaries has such a width, as I like to call it in the anime, that keeps your mind wondering, keeps the mind constantly questioning things. We still don't know who was doing the wood things, who's behind that, what the reason is, if it's a code, if it's not a code, if it's something ominous, if it's not. So many questions. And Mama was getting so important, indispensable, really. You know what I mean? Let me know what you think down in the comments below and much love from me. Let's do this.